Greetings everyone, Magical Memories Travel, and welcome back. And today is gonna be a very fun day because we are starting off our day at Goats on a Roof. I mean, look at these guys. Hold on, let's see if I can, hey, little guys. Yeah, they're paying absolutely no attention. But right now, we are starting our day off at Goats on a Roof. We're going to be going to the island at Pigeon Forge, as well as having dinner at Old Mill. We're going to be doing a bunch of touristy stuff today, as well as tomorrow is our big tourist day. But we decided to do some fun stuff because tomorrow it's going to be raining. So we're going to do the stuff that we cannot do in the rain. If you guys want to follow along with us and see all the videos from our trip to Tennessee, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this with all of your friends. Friends, and follow us on social media at magical.memories.travel. She's cold, so uh, let's go do this mountain coaster. Look at you guys. How you guys doing? Hi, bud. I'm sorry we don't have food yet, but we will go get you guys food so you guys can eat. But this is what Goats on a Roof looks like. As you can see, the mountain coaster is all the way back there. I'm going to be going up to the top of that mountain and getting you guys a video of me coming all the way back down. This is what Goats on a Roof actually looks like itself. You can see that there is a little pathway for the goats to walk from roof to roof. Right over here are some bicycles that you can actually buy cups of feed and send the cups all the way up to the tip top so you can feed the goats. As you can see, that's exactly what that guy is doing down there. So the total that came out for two tickets for Goats on a Roof was $27.88. So not too bad to go on an awesome coaster. We are the only guests in line for our mountain coaster right now. We have our tickets and we are ready to go. I am very excited. We are now on the mountain coaster and ready to go. When you get on your coaster, you have to push forward just a little bit and then the track will take you the rest of the way because this is gonna be your first lift hill of many lift hills here on the mountain coaster. And uh, this is actually called the Goat Coaster. And this is the fastest mountain coaster in Pigeon Forge. So this goes 40 miles an hour, not 30 miles an hour. So it's a little faster. Now, obviously you can control your speed. Controlling your speed, you're going to take this lever. You're going to push down on the lever. So down to go fast and at full speed. And you're gonna pull back on the lever to this position to stop it, but you should never stop on the coaster. Never stop on the mountain coaster. Otherwise, you are going to get hit by the person behind you. And you do not want that to happen. So make sure you are going either half or full speed if you are a speed demon, which uh, I'm gonna take this thing pedal to the metal so I can see just exactly how fast 40 miles an hour feels zipping through these beautiful mountains of Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Now, I'm not gonna touch it, I'm just gonna let this take me the entire way. And as you can see, there is another willing participant right up in front of me, very, very far away. Let me see if I can, uh, that's about as far as I'm gonna zoom up. Bring it all the way back down. I'm excited. I am not at the top just yet, but uh, I don't know if you can see. Hi, Natalie. I don't know if you can see who her waving, but she is all the way down there. I'm sure she is getting her own uh, view as well of the coaster. So um, she will have a video of it of her own view, but I am going to get a view for you guys so you can see. It is cold. Very, very cold. They also have some decorations up here on the mountain, like little bear cutouts. There's their mascot. There is the goat mascot for goats on a roof. There is the lighthouse with Santa Claus climbing the top. Just a bit of construction. We don't want to look at that. But they are clearing for what looks like an expansion, maybe, of the coaster. So who knows? But it's all very, very pretty up here. Here at the goat coaster. A goat's on a roof. Oh, look at that. It's uh, Santa and his reindeer. And a goat. Oh my god, that's so cute. We are now going up the final lift hill, bringing you all the way up to the top of Goats on a Roof. And as you can see, that's somebody that just went by. I don't know if they're going to come down that side. Oh, look at that. There they are. They are riding doubles. I am very, very excited. I am very excited to also see how fast this, this goes. I know I'm saying excited a lot because how can you not have excitement? when you are going on a mountain coaster in the middle of Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. You can see the city of Pigeon Forge down there. 
all the way in the distance. And we are ready. Oh look, it's the Grinch. Here we go. Press the handle forward and have fun. Awesome. Here we go. I am pushing this pedal to the darn metal, man. Let's go. Holy crap. All right. So we are now here 80 feet. Oh. It is so shaky. I know I don't have a camera stabilizer. You guys are going to have to bear with me. Ah. coming up they just took my picture oh gosh ah. and we are nearing the end and here I'm gonna slow up and let the coaster take me the rest of the way with its momentum huh just about a two-minute ride here on the goat coaster my gosh that was such a fun fun time okay all i can say is wow because i, wanna go again so I honestly want to go again and i kind of want to it's expensive it, it really is 12 dollars, but know we could both go. that was honestly probably the best 27 dollars i've ever spent because that was exhilarating i i i don't know what to we say were going full speed. yeah we were going full speed i did not let up the entire time it honestly felt like we were gonna fly off the tracks but obviously know, you're I'm, not i was holding on to your jeans so tight i'm like i'm ready to fly off <laughs> this was this was um this was such a cool experience i honestly recommend this to anyone come over to goats on a roof and uh check this place out because it's awesome <laughs> this <laughs> is, this is natalie and uh the there's me <laughs> wow i do like this jack skellington pumpkin that they have out here that's kind of cool he is king of this rock. Ooh, he likes it, it. You just love the scratches, huh? He's like, I'll bite you. Oh, I heard that. Oh, he's like, I want right here now. Oh, right you here. want the back scratch, huh? All right, I'll... I've got two cups of the goat feed, but this goat feed actually comes in a souvenir cup. So I guess you can wash this out and uh, you can use this. So this was like $6.30 something cents with tax. So it's $3 per cup. Oh my goodness, now you've got three. You only had this one over to the left. Now they're fighting each other just to get... Yeah, you're just gonna... Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, you're getting a little aggressive now. There you go, just give you a little bit, and you walked away from me. No, you're focused on the food, man. That's what you're focused on. You're food-driven, all of you guys, food-driven. I have found myself a bike. I'm gonna take that cup, bring it down, fill it, and then send it back up to that hungry goat. I know you're waiting, I got you. All right, I'm just sending the cup all the way down. This is an efficient method of feeding the goats on the roof. All you have to do is open your cup. Just put a little bit of the feed inside. I'm gonna give this guy a little hefty portion so he can eat for a while and uh, send it up. That's uh, all you gotta do is pedal forward to send it up. You can send it up pretty fast. There you go. Oh, you're waiting, you're waiting, there you go. And uh, he is now enjoying his feed. Oh, come on, dude. Really? Uh-uh, no, no, no. I only wanted to feed the one. You guys are, you guys are something else, fine. Fine, there you go, you can have it. Jeez, they're fighting up here, they're fighting down there. It's ridiculous. They also have Pluto, Rudolph, the Grinch, and Snoopy. They also have Grogu. I just want to capture this absolutely gorgeous sunset here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And right in the back is the Smoky Mountains. There's a really awesome light show and water show going on right now in the middle of the lagoon overlooking this awesome Ferris wheel. 
Here are just some of the shops that they have here at the island. They have the Beef Jerky Experience. So uh, let's go check out the Beef Jerky Experience. We are greeted by our friend, the friendly Sasquatch, or uh, Bigfoot, whatever you want to call him. This is a place filled with a bunch of different and weird beef jerkies, as you can see. Kangaroo jerky, gator jerky, venison, buffalo, and elk, as well as different flavor beef jerkies all across the board. We uh, kind of like Bucky's a lot for their beef jerky, but python jerky, snake jerky, that's interesting. And there's more kangaroo jerky and shark jerky. They also have the crickets that you can get at like Universal inside of their gift shops, as well as different um, like little popsicles, I believe. Yes. No, they're little cute pops. Cute pops. Are they soft, hard? Yes. No. Hard. All right. And we also have a bunch of different hot sauces, and they also have them ranked by their Scoville units right over here. And can you take on the challenge? It's called the Toe of Satan. It's a nine million Scoville unit. And then there's one that is Little Nitro. That's twelve dollars. Hmm. They also have a bunch of different flavors of popcorn, ranging from like dill pickle to Chicago blend sea salt, turkey pecan, and beer and cheese bourbon. That actually sounds really good. The snacks, it says gator toes. I wonder what that means. If actual gator toe? They also have their own brand Cheetos and cheese puffs as well as some pork rinds. They also have obnoxiously large beef jerky. Like that is... I. <laughs> It does look like a piece of a tire in the road. So it's probably spicy, right? They have hot pepper bacon jam that you can try, so I'm gonna grab a tong. Yeah. I'm gonna get a little a little pretzel here. I'm gonna go ahead. And then uh tell me how spicy it is. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and see how spicy this is. Yeah, let me know, because I can't handle spice. Can I do it? That's actually not spicy at all. That's actually very good. I'm just gonna do a little speck. How is it? Mm. Very good, right? That's yummy. I'm enjoying it. There's a notification on my uh, camera that I just had to click off. Really Sorry, red. guys. Here are the gator toes. They have fried garlic Moroccan gator toes. Fried garlic. <laughs> They're fried. Yeah, it says fried garlic right up here. So it's literally just different <laughs> flavors of fried garlic. I uh. I think that would actually be pretty darn good. You could also try the gator toes. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab You're gonna try a gator toe? one, two. I'm just gonna go down the line and uh, try them all. The two on the right I'm here are not. Gator toe, then. I'm gonna try that. And there's also the barbecue one. Uh, pop that right down here. Give them all a try. One. We're gonna try the barbecue gator toe first. That's very good. Not an overwhelming barbecue weird. flavor, but very weird and very good. It's like a potato. This is the um, the bo the Moroccan. Moroccan. I like that one significantly better. How That's do very you taste good. like the smell of living with the lamb? Yes. <laughs> this is the chili lime. This may be on the little spicy side. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> Not bad. No, these are the spicy ones. This one is just spicy. Um, I don't know. But this one, I'm regretting, and it's a big one. John. <laughs> this is Carolina Reaper and Ghost Pepper. Let's do it. You don't have water. Don't start hacking on me. Not bad at all. Obviously not bad. When you add two peppers together, I feel like they cancel each other out and they create a mild kind of a flavor. But that's actually kind of tolerable. Maybe not for her, but for me it's pretty good. You can also try deep fried peanuts and you can even eat the shell. They're so deep fried you can just pop it right in. We're going to go ahead and get a Moroccan Gator Toast. We're going to go into the Bootlegger Winery. I think that's a Bootlegger Winery. And we're going to go ahead and try a couple of their free sips. And you could pick seven different ones to try. I don't know if we're going to try all seven, but uh, we're going to try. We're starting with Raspberry Moscato. 
Oh, of course. Raspberry Moscato. Ooh, that's good. I like that. Cranberry. Is the blackberry part of that seven that you were counting? Yeah. We'll try that. We'll, we'll, we'll do the blackberry next. Blackberry next? Yeah, so that's where we live. How's that? That's very good. Blackberry. Oh, I like that one a lot. We're pouring a tangerine now. I think I'm going to like this one the most. I like citrusy things and anything orange and tangerine. I think I'm going to really like the watermelon. Oh, I might like that one too. 6.25. Oh my gosh. That was really good. That's very good. I also like watermelon, so this one I'm excited for. This one is also very good. My last couple tried this and they got three. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's fantastic. It's really good. A peach. Moscato, the last one we have is carnival candy, and I'm assuming that's cotton Hot candy. candy. Cool. Mm -hmm. that's peach Moscato. That's all good. of these are all of these are fantastic. <laughs> Watermelon, peach. So do you like cotton candy flavors normally? It, it depends. Okay, so if you don't know, that's a newer. She's candy. trying a little bit of the carnival. Is that, okay. one, is that one all right? Very sweet, huh? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. That is incredibly sweet. Mm -hmm. Artificial. It's, mm -hmm. it's not artificial it's flavoring. It's, it's just, just like not refreshing. Yeah, this one's definitely better. I like the blueberry. But the watermelon and peach are really good. The blueberry pie I like too. We decided to take home watermelon, raspberry, and peach moscato. We like them that much. We are going to go ahead and check out their Old Smoky Moonshine location. We love Old Smoky Moonshine, don't we? We do. We really do. Here is the inside of their Old Smoky Moonshine location. We're not going to do a moonshine tasting today because we have that planned for a few days from now. So we are just checking out their location right now, checking out all the different moonshines. They had a pumpkin pie moonshine all the way down there, but we noticed an orange dreamsicle moonshine or a creamsicle moonshine. They have shine nog. They have the peppermint moonshine right over here. Moonshine pineapples. I don't think I've ever seen those before with pina colada moonshine on the inside. Your famous moonshine cherries, blue flame, and their original. And this is an actual distillery, so you can see them distilling the moonshine as we speak. Like, look at this, that's moonshine flowing through the tanks. And they're actually making the moonshine right here in house. There's the fermenter. So there's where they ferment anything. There is nothing in there now, but there is some in those vats way back there. I do believe these are new. Old Smoky Moonshine Popcorn Dust. They have dill pickle, they have chili cheese pie, and they just have regular sweet fire popcorn dust. I have to get one. You're gonna go ahead and get the it's dill pickle? So <laughs> I wonder how that is on popcorn. Good thing we brought popcorn with us on really? this trip so we can try it. They also have Old Smoky Moonshine Salsa. They have country corn salsa, hot salsa, and they also have buttermilk pancake mix and southern fish fry mix. Natalie found this really awesome looking Old Smoky Moonshine sweatshirt. So I think she might go ahead and get that along with the uh, dill pickle popcorn dust. Hot hillbilly caviar and uh, jalapenos. Hooch beans, which is just uh, little dilly beans. And by dilly beans, I mean green beans. And they also have pimento stuffed olives. They also have a whole selection of different moonshine jellies like apple pie and blackberry. There's also a selection of their different whiskeys, like peanut butter whiskey, amaretto whiskey, and over here is salted caramel whiskey. But I wonder what was here. We also decided to get this really cool magnet. It was the only one left on the shelf. This ended up being um, $6.99, so a little over $7 with tax, but this is really cool. The awesome gentleman here at Old Smoky Tennessee Distillery gave us something called the Hooch Hop in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. If you go to their locations and you get these stamps here, We've got one stamp and two stamps. If we get the final stamp over here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, I don't know why we have uh, a stamp already over at the barrel house, but we're still going to visit both locations 
you get a free t-shirt when you visit all three distilleries and you purchase something. That's awesome. Here is the home of Sky Fly Soar America. It's really loud right now and I have to scream because there's a band going on right over here outside. It's very awesome. Skyfly Soar America is sort of a steampunk version of Soarin. It's actually set up quite the same as you can see from the video right there. It is $22 for adults and $17 for kids. For seniors, it's $19.99. So just a little over $23 for the adults. We are gonna go ahead and check out the Yeehaw Brewing Company, Fine Southern Beer. We are gonna go ahead and try four of the samplers. You can share a sampler if you are with somebody. It is gonna be $10 for four, like three and a half to four ounce pours. And you can choose anything you want from this list. Or apparently, um, you can do the, a cocktail sampler as well as a cider sampler too. So we're just gonna do the beers for now. Here are the four we decided to try. The Sangria Sour, the Heffenweissen, Hazy IPA, and the Leg Lamp Lager. And if you want to take a look at those, you can pause and you can read what they are. And here are the four, the Sangria Sour, the Heffenwesson, the Hazy IPA, and the Leg Lamp Lager. We're going to go ahead and try these left to right. You almost spilled the Sangria Sour, so how is that? Ooh. That is sour. very sour, but also very, very refreshing and good. Very sour. I, um, I'm still, my mind is still on that wine tasting from earlier. Next, we're going to go ahead and try the Heffenwesson. And they give you nice sized pours here, too. That's a good beer. That's a definitely a good Heffenwesson. How do you feel about that? You don't like that, do you? No, you're not a fan? Too beer-y? It's weird. It's weird? It's, it's a little weird. weird? I'm gonna go ahead and try this hazy IPA it like here. Beverly. It does? No, no, it doesn't. Here's the hazy. Oh, that hazy is very good. You might not like that, but I enjoy that quite a bit. How's that hazy? Still a no? Really? Okay. And the Lake Lamp Lager is the final one. That one you might like. It's a little fruity. That's okay. That's okay? I think I like this one the most. You like that one the most? Uh, out of the two, I like the Heffenwesson and the Lake Lamp Lager the most. <laughs> You're just not really a beer person, are you? How do you feel after that uh, little impromptu beer tasting? Um, well, I didn't really like most of them, <laughs> but it was still fun. That was still fun, but uh, the, the ones I chose weren't that good. Definitely that wine tasting, though, that one was much better than the beer tasting from Yeeha. But we are excited to try the ciders from Yeeha Brewing Company soon when we are in Gatlinburg. It's just such a different experience here because everyone that we've talked to has been so nice yeah. and friendly. All the people that live here and have traveled here compared to like being at home. We've of had course. good conversations with people. It's it's definitely different compared to Florida. Yeah. I say that to anybody. If you're going to go to Tennessee, you're going to see a completely Everyone's different a lot like nicer. breed of people. Yeah. It's a lot nicer people here. <laughs> yeah. They have a little kids frog jumper ride. Looks absolutely terrifying. And they also have a mirror maze virtual reality and bumper cars. They also have the island trading posts, dudes daiquiris, and this jungle sky gym contraption over here. It's crazy looking. Hey, I'd be scared too. I mean, there's a whole section where there's nothing beneath you. The Great Smoky Mountain Wheel. This reminds us, um, Natalie said, of the Orlando Eye area, except Nicer. Just nicer, <laughs> nicer, much bigger, and in the middle of freezing weather in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. There's also a mellow mushroom over here. But there's just a lot to do and a lot to see here at the island. I think Natalie wants to check out Bird's Famous Cookies, so we are going to go ahead. Whoa, this looks kind of cool on the inside. I like it. We have almond shortbread, cupcake cookies, chocolate chip cookies. Wow. I kind of like it in here. 
very, very nice. And hey, they even have a truck in the middle. I think this is a really neat idea. It's a U-Pick cookie box, so it's $6.95 per box, and you can fill it with as many cookies as you can fit inside of that little box. And they have all of the cookies that they have over here on the wall for you to stuff inside of what looks like a Chinese takeout box. I like the box itself. I just want the box. Anywhere we go, we always find something Disney. And here is the Fab Four. They are still missing one more member of the Fab Five, but we have Minnie, Donald, Mickey, and Goofy cookie boxes. They also have samples that you can try, so you do not have to just blindly pick a cookie and you may not like it. And you can try as many samples as you want. There's a total of like, what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen different cookies, including some gluten-free options. Scratch that, sixteen. You can try a Rice Krispie Treat. There's also 23 now, including that. So believe it or not, the Birdies Famous Cookies actually make the Rice Krispie Treats for Walt Disney World. So this is technically a Disney Rice Krispie Treat. Yeah, I can taste it. I'll also try a Rice Krispie, or a um, <laughs> chocolate chip as well, yes. Thank you. And these are really thin cookies. Very good too. <laughs> Here is a salted caramel. We're gonna give this a try. Mm. Tastes like a beaver nugget to me. A, what? <laughs> a beaver nugget from Bucky's. Oh, we don't have the Bucky's around here. They're just now building mm -hmm. one up by the Yep. Oh, you guys are gonna love it. We have a lemon cooler, and this is a frosted one, so it has a little bit of um, pop mm. sugar on top. That's so good. Yeah, the key lime is our top seller. Oh, that's delightful. Kind of we'll try the key lime next. So she's got a shortbread and a key lime. Mm. That's good. The key lime is even better. Mm -mm. Key lime is even better than the lemon. I can see why it's their bestseller. Why did I not suspect that she would go ahead and pick up a uh, package of these chocolate chip cookies? Uh, they're fantastic. And I think I'm going to go ahead and try an everything cheddar because I'm very interested in that. There's also a jalapeno cheddar, so I may try both. It smells good. We're gonna do an everything cheddar. Mm. Oh. Wow, I've never tasted such a thing. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> it's just like so many flavors bursting in your mouth. I, I am so tempted to get this right now, oh, son. Oh, I know. Of, uh, mm. Natalie is opting out, but I am doing the jalapeno cheddar, and it's um, you don't taste the jalapeno until the end, so uh, we'll see. <laughs> there's the cheddar and there's the jalapeno that's very good so this is a cocktail cracker and uh, this is like a ranchy flavor oh gosh okay so everything here is fantastic I haven't tasted anything I haven't liked so um I think you guys need to head over to um the birdhouse because uh, this is great. We gravitated towards this store because we saw a character store and lounge flies, but we also see stuff that I think we are going to enjoy quite a lot. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this guy a check. Holy mother of Funko Pops. Hey, paging Mr. Morrow, I think you need to come over here because uh, there is a giant wall filled with so many different Roosevelt's and they're $69.99 here, so $70 for a Roosevelt here at the Kryptonite Character Store. And there is lounge flies in here. I see a Disney snowman lounge fly right there in the middle, as well as a Miles Morales one, a Doctor Strange lounge fly, Ravenclaw Stitch. This one they sell at Universal right over there. There is a lot of different lounge flies that uh, I've never seen in person before, only on pictures. I think this uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory lounge fly. It's really cool. We thought these were going to be astronomically priced, but they are 75 to 80 dollars, which is around the price of a lounge fly nowadays in the Disney parks. Oh, and they have a lot of lounge fly wallets. Holy moly! I bet you those are. How much are those lounge fly wallets? Go ahead and just check one of them, so we can kind of get a general price. Of course, you gravitate towards that one. So those wallets are 40. So again, 
normal price for a lounge fly that's actually very nice to see versus the other store that we checked out that had lounge flies from uh, right across from Kura Sushi. I continue to become flabbergasted at this store because they also have Disney ears. Like, come on people. This is cool. And it's, the ears are 30, which is actually not bad. And uh, are you thinking about getting the ears? Yes. Ooh, those peppermint ears too. Ooh, who knows? Who knows? Many decisions, many decisions. So, with our bags secured, all of our bags secured, we are going to go over and have a fantastic dinner at the Old Mill, and I know I did an Old Mill uh, dinner video. I will link our original dinner video in the link in the description, but we are going to be trying some new items here at Old Mill, so follow along. We are very excited to be back in this area because tonight we are going to be dining at Old Mill. Like I said, we are in front of the Old Forge Distillery, one of our favorite places, and they always close at 9 p.m. I don't know if we're going to get out of dinner before 9, but if we do, we may or may not grab a cocktail. But they do tastings here at Old Forge Distillery, and we're going to be doing that tomorrow, actually. Yeah. So we're going to be coming back to this area tomorrow. This is some of their discount stuff that they have out front. They usually have two tables, but they only have one. But right now our focus is dinner, so let's get checked in. The Old Mill restaurant is still a functional grist mill today. They still make all of their flour and everything is stone ground in-house. There's their general store right over there. I know I did um, do a video of their general store last time. I will link our old video of our Old Mill dinner in the description below, like I said before, so you guys can check that out too. We are all checked in for dinner, so right now we are going to go explore. Our name might get called sooner. Our name might get called sooner than uh, sooner than we think, so uh, we will see. But behind us is the Little Pigeon River. Right now, we're going to check out the old general store while we wait. When you visit the old mill, you always have to sign your book. We're so glad you visit us today. Keep in touch and leave a comment or two if you wish. So we're going to go ahead and leave a nice comment. The inside of the old mill general store, honestly, to me, is like a better, um, a better Cracker Barrel store. I know we said that the last time, but it is 100% better than Cracker Barrel. Um, everything is better. I like this shirt at the bottom. I do like that shirt too. The shirt that I have from Old Mill is no longer here. I don't know if it's that shirt. I think it might be that shirt or something different. Is it that one? Okay, so it is still here. I have that shirt. Um, Natalie, you have what Old Mill shirt? I have this one, but in a blue and white, and then I have like a pink, green, and white one. A pink, green, and white one? So you have two. I have one. I lost my Old Mill beanie. I was hoping they had beanies here, but they don't. They only have the hats as of right now, so uh, kind of sad about that. I don't remember seeing this before here, but this is a really cool Old Mill reusable cup for $39.99. It's a tumbler, and this is a leather wrapping to it that has Old Mill embossed. We are adding to our magnet collection, and we are doing the Old Mill magnet here. Um, I, this does not have a price tag on these magnets. $3.99 for the magnet. And when I say there is still a functional mill, as you can see, there's all the stuff for the mill right back there. And they make all the flour and they sell it here in house. So all of your different types of flour, your cornmeal mix and grits. We were quoted 30 minutes, but it ended up being less than 30 minutes. You're gonna hear my name get called in just a minute. Oh, well, I, uh, <laughs> she already called her name when we were inside of the general store. So I am heading up, Natalie is paying for that awesome magnet and we're gonna have a fantastic dinner the inside of old mill is always beautiful and uh ooh, i am so sorry we are gonna be sitting upstairs this time someplace we've never sat so we are now seated at our table we usually dine all the way downstairs by the water but we are now dining upstairs and uh it actually feels more like uh to me, I'm sort of getting a Columbia Harbor House vibe off of this. Yeah, literally. Yeah, I am feeling a lot like I'm sitting in Columbia I Harbor even House think right now. About that, but that is very true. Yeah, it's definitely Columbia Harbor House vibes in here, but I, I still like it. It's still, I like it a lot. What we decided on getting from the menu is Natalie is going to try the fresh English Mountain Rainbow Trout. Yeah. 
and it's going to be $26.99. And I am going to go ahead and try the chicken and dumplings at $21.99. And all of these, um, it does include a signature cup of corn chowder, the corn fritters, and a house salad and green beans. But the difference is, is the from the water selections. You can choose between a baked potato, mashed potato, french fries, or a baked sweet potato. And you do get a choice of one of the bakery desserts. And for the southern style specialties, it includes the mashed potatoes and the green beans and the house salad. And I'm sure you can sub um, for like a baked potato. It might be an upcharge or not. And then it comes with a uh, bakery dessert. I know I say it all the time, but the bear salt and pepper shakers are cute. Just so you guys know, you can get any one of these sides subbed for another. So they have mashed potatoes, green beans, sliced, sliced uh, spiced apples, rice pilaf, a coleslaw, pinto beans, glazed carrots, cream corn, fried okra, macaroni and cheese, broccoli casserole, collard greens, or sweet potato casserole. Holy moly, that is a lot of stuff. I did not know they had sweet potato casserole, otherwise I would have said that. I didn't uh, even see that. Sweet potato there. casserole is so good. That's okay. Eh, it's too late to change. We'll be back though. We'll definitely be back for an old mill dinner. But yeah, you can sub any one of your sides for those. Let's give you a quick overview of the menu. Here's your southern fried specialties, ranging from southern fried chicken, boneless pork chops, down to chicken tenders. You have your southern style specialties, from uh, meatloaf, a uh, sugar cured ham, spare ribs and sauerkraut, or a southern barbecue plate. You have your from the water selections right up here, ranging from the mountain rainbow trout all the way, all the way down to spicy broiled catfish, southern grilled specialties right down here. And uh, on the back, you have your children's menu, your beverages, and uh, your savory garden entrees. And what a better way to start off your dinner than to get some fritters and an old mill roll. These are some of the best fritters and rolls you were ever gonna have. And this is a cup of Old Mill's famous corn chowder. So we are going to go ahead and give all of this amazing stuff a try. We are going to go ahead and try the chowder first. Here's what it looks like. Oh, so warm on such a cold night. This will definitely make you feel good on the inside. This is hearty corn chowder with corn pieces, potatoes, some peppers. It's very nice. Look at the fluffiness. I mean, come on. This, you can't get any better than that. And the butter, let's, uh, let's get just a little bit of the butter. I think this is a, um, I thought it was a cinnamon honey butter. Yes, it is. It smells like cinnamon, smells like honey. Tastes like butter. Mm -hmm. Tastes like butter. Mm. Mm. Very, very good. Yeah. They also have corn fritters. And just look at that. Look at how those corn fritters break apart. That looks amazing. I'll just do a corn fritter on its own. That's phenomenal. With a little bit of butter, I'm sure this is gonna be even better. Mm -hmm. That butter, Makes the flavor 10 times better. And here is our entire dinner spread. Here is the rainbow trout, the, um, we got a baked potato. We got our two mac and cheeses back here. Collard greens, mashed potatoes here. And here is my chicken and dumplings. All of this looks absolutely fantastic and we can't wait to dig in. So we're just gonna dig right in. She went right for the uh, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes and I'm like, mm. So let's do that. Holy crap. We've had their mashed potatoes before and again, they continue to surprise us. They're fantastic. Mm. I'm trying to keep this PG with how I feel about these mashed potatoes. <laughs> the, I think Walt's mashed potatoes is better. These are so good. They're, they're, they are good, but I do like Walt's mashed potatoes. I'm excited. I'm going to go right in for the um, the chicken and dumplings. Let's, uh, let's try this. Here, a little chicken and dumplings bite. That's delightful. I, I think you need I to. I cannot uh, stress how insanely good this is. They are. Oh my God. You're gonna need to try the dumplings. And uh, here's the chicken from the chicken and dumplings. That's so good. Mm. Mm. I don't like that. So here's the chicken. 
How's the color base? Are they good? All right, we've got the chicken. She's gonna go ahead and give that a try. We got dumplings. You got dumpling? See, I like the dumplings. Um, the chicken, it's like the harder pieces. The dumplings are the very soft, like mushy. Yep, thank you. Not really mushy, but still so very good. And they're very warm. This is very warm. She likes those collard greens. I'm gonna go ahead and- uh, They have a bit of a spice. They do, Which they I do. Like. I think they're we might peppery. have had the collard greens last time. We did. Because they're really good here. Mm -hmm. And all of this warm food feels so good right now when it's freezing cold outside. I think it's like what? Like 30 something degrees right and now? It becomes really hot. It so does. It, it tastes really fresh. And it will take a while for it to, uh, to get cold, honestly. Mm -hmm. How's that mac and cheese? Very good? Yeah. Very creamy looking mac and cheese. Mm. Now, like we tried the chicken and dumplings. I want to see that uh, that rainbow trout and see how good that is. Really big. It is. It is massive. Oh the skin is still on this rainbow trout, but I'm excited. Mm. <laughs> that's like absolutely delicious. So that's definitely a good selection. If you are um, into the fish and the from the water, the rainbow trout, really good. I like it. I like it a lot. So here are the desserts. We chose to get these desserts to go so we can take them back to our hotel. So she's got her banana pudding, and uh, I've got the cobbler. I only see one fork. This is a problem. Let's. Um, I'm not gonna eat any right now. Oh, I'm I'll, so full. I'll go ahead and, and give a try to both, and uh, give you guys a little review. Uh, so this is the cobbler. Thank you. That's delightful. Really good blackberry flavor. And then um, this guy here. Very good as well. All good items. And that about wraps everything up for such a fun day. From goats on the roof and having so much fun riding our first mountain coaster to going to the island and experiencing some fun snacks, buying new snacks, wine, beer tastings, all that fun stuff and such a fantastic dinner here at Old Mill. We will see you guys back here again tomorrow morning for Old Mill breakfast bright and early at like 9, 9.30 in the morning. It'll be a different time for you guys when you're watching, but if you enjoyed all of this stuff and would like to see all of the other road trip videos that we have coming for Tennessee and much, much more, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this with all of your friends, and follow us on social media at magical.memories.travel. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.